Would you like to up your landing page game? Let me show you how with Unbounce's new Smart Builder. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. Now, the connection between JotForm and Unbounce just got stronger thanks to Unbounce's new Smart Builder. It now features AI functionality, conversion tracking, along with a brand new suite of apps, and JotForm is excited to be one of the first. And you guessed it, it is simple, straightforward, and no code needed, just like JotForm. So I am already on unbounce.com, and I've navigated to the products section to where we can see that new smart builder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on login and we can see that it says choose an account to log into and I want to choose the smart builder and classic builder and then the very first thing that I see is to try the builder tutorial so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to get started with the smart builder and you can see it has already built a landing page for me. It really makes things super simple, but to add JotForm in as an app, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna click on this puzzle piece. This is where all of the apps live. Next, I'm gonna search for JotForm. There it is, we'll go ahead and click the plus sign. Next, we get to choose what do we want this section to look like? Do we want it to have a header and maybe a description or do we just want it to be the JotForm? So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one in the bottom right-hand corner where it is just JotForm. And so we can see it added it right to the top for us. So now we can click on the blue add a jot form button to choose which form. Now here is where we are going to authorize our jot form account. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to allow. And we can see it says select one of your jot forms to use on your unbounce page. Now we can also choose to refresh the list or we can create a new jot form within this page right here. But for me, I know that I would like to use form two for this example. Good deal. So we can see some buttons down in the left-hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear for the settings. And we can see a lot of different things within just the settings aspect. We can choose to refresh the form. We can change the form height. So we can see that we can't see the submit button. So we need to make this form a little bit longer. So I'm gonna try 800 pixels. And that looks perfect. It looks like the entire form with the submit button fits within that space. Next up, we can also choose to change the form. If maybe we chose the wrong one, we can change it here. And then we also have conversion tracking on. If you wanna turn it off, you can, but we can see that it is already on for us, which is perfect. Now, if we want, we can choose to change the element. Maybe we wanna change it to something else. And we can also use the align tool to see how we want it. Right now, it is in the center for both, which is perfect for me, so this is good. Now, another thing that we can do with embedding a jot form is you can change an element that is already on the page. So if I go ahead and scroll down a little bit, we can see that right here, it looks like we're collecting leads. If you want, you can change this to a jot form just by clicking on it. So I'm gonna click on this one right here and we can see the change element that we just chose a minute ago. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to change element. I'm gonna scroll down. We're gonna choose jot form. I'm gonna choose the add a jot form button and we can choose that form again. Good deal. And then same thing, we can choose the settings and we can play with that height again to make it fit right within our landing page. So let's go ahead and go up to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the preview on for the desktop and we can see, great, that form is there. And then we have the form right up here on top. If we want, we can change it to a mobile device or even a tablet. Perfect, fits right there and there as well. We are good to publish and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Unbounce's new smart builder with JotForm, let us know and I'll see you next time.